everybody, my name's Helen. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to undertake a series of videos where I show my hair loss and gather it up. The idea occurred to me, so I put it to a poll and the majority of you were like, the vast majority of you were into it. Small sample size right now. I just put this poll up, I think yesterday, and I thought, let's just jump right in and do it. What have we got to lose? Apologies if you hear a lot of noise in the background. That is my husband who is working from home as well and he's on the phone using his outdoor voice. The first thing I wanna address is that this is for infotainment, entertainment type purposes. This is not meant as any sort of medical sort of thing for you to judge yourself against. I definitely don't want you to do this as well. I don't want you to compare yourself either. So that's another ground rule we should put here. No comparisons, no commenting like, oh my gosh, that's all you have. That's how much I get in a half of a day. We're not gonna do that, okay? Point is really not to be like, oh my gosh, look how much I'm losing, but rather just to normalize seeing hair loss, something a lot of people talk about, but they don't ever necessarily show. So we're gonna look. And I do have to make another disclaimer, which is that I'm in a period right now of very little hair loss. And I think that's one of the reasons I feel sort of emboldened to be able to do this. I am losing the least amount of hair that I ever have. I kind of don't exactly know what it's attributable to. I haven't changed really too many things about my routine. I am trying a new product that a company is making that is not out on the market yet. And it seems to be okay. But even before that, I wasn't losing a lot of hair, although I almost always do this time of year. Now I'm not, I don't know why it's a good thing though, but I am still losing hair because guess what? It's normal to lose hair. You know who doesn't lose any hair? Dead people. Dead people don't lose their hair. Okay. You know what I'm trying to say? The thing about hair loss is that if your hair grows, you're also going to have hair loss. It's just, it is normal to have hair loss. I did not brush my hair. I just put it up in one of these clippies. Um, and so we're going to take it out and we're just going to brush and I'm not going to do this every single day, but what I'm going to do is accumulate things here in these plastic bags and we'll look at, <laughs> I know this is, I can't even believe I'm doing this, but you know what, it, it might help, it might help somebody. So let's just do it. Um, no new Ziploc bags were harmed in the making of this video. I am one of these people that likes to sort of save up Ziploc bags until basically they're, they die pretty much. And so I have this one here that used to have anti antibacterial wipes. Of course, I just crossed that out. So I've got one for week one, week two, week three, week four. So this will be a series. I will link them up as the new videos come out each week. I'll link them up below in the description box in case you want to sort of skip ahead and we'll have some sort of maybe vloggy type chatting. I'm not exactly sure. I'm not exactly sure where we're going with this. The only thing I'm sure of is that I will collect my hair every day and I will put all of it in this, in these baggies and hopefully it fits. So we shall see. So we'll just start with a little brush out now. So I always start from the back and I move my way forward and I cleaned out my brush this morning so it is not is not full of hair. So we're starting with a clean brush and then I'll collect the hair that comes out here. I'll collect the hair that comes out in the shower. Ooh. I feel like this may be ill-advised. And again, the point is not to compare yourself because again, I'm losing the least amount of hair I can remember losing in four years. Is my hair loss gone? Am I just experiencing a nice season where not a lot of it is? falling out? Are the products I'm using really working well? I tell you, I haven't changed my vitamin D levels or absolutely anything. I did try Pure Adora shampoo recently and made a video on that. That's really the only thing I can think of that's any different in my routine. But we'll see as the weeks roll on, I guess, what ends up happening, right? What's what? So I'm only going to brush my hair this one time today and through the week I will collect these hairs and dutifully put them in this disgusting now Ziploc bags as week one. Okay, so I've got some hair here. I shall stuff that in. Let me tell you, when I went to university, I did not envision myself doing this many years later. That's for sure. Okay, there's not too much in there. Gather up whatever else is here. That'll be me for the day. So I'll just, I'll just keep this going, okay? I'll just keep this going this week. I don't know how well you can see this, but not too much at all. Not too much at all yet. It'll be a week tomorrow. I don't know what's going on, but nearly nothing coming out of my hair this week. I'm having such a light hair loss week, but I'm about to shower and brush. So that could uh, change the game a little bit. We'll see. This is what came out in the shower. And it's honestly so little that I debated not even filming this. This is really not normal for me. Started taping on Thursday. It is now Wednesday and here we are. I've had a very, very minimal week of hair loss to the point where I almost wondered if I should even do this because this is not representative of real life for me. I don't know what's going on. I just know that there's hardly anything in here. I mean, let's have a look. So listen, every hair that 
came off, I captured in here in terms of brushing it. There were a few strays that sort of came off on my sweater, you know, like on the back of your cardigan or like hanging on your arm. You know those feelings like when you have like a hair kind of tickling you and it's hanging off your t-shirt and it's like tickling you lower on your arm. It's just like, I hate that feeling. I didn't get too much of that, but, um, and I didn't collect those because there just weren't that many, but I did do a really good job. Let's have a look. <laughs> Uh, I have lost more than this. This is my week's worth. I've definitely lost more than this in just like one day. Most definitely that has been the norm for me. So I don't exactly know what's going on, but I am not complaining. I'm putting it on this white sheet of paper so that it's a little bit easier to see with my hair being so dark. In fact, what I will also do is um, just get some video here on my phone. Let's do that now. The iPhone takes really good videos. If you're ever wondering if you should level up to a real like so-called video camera, if you have an iPhone and you want to like make YouTube videos or TikTok or whatever, it's, they're very sufficient. They do a really nice job. So here we are. Okay. Maybe that is a lot. I don't know. It, it's hard to say, you know, I don't know. Can you get the scale of it? I'm going to put my computer mouse next to it so you can kind of have a look-see. This is, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's not to me. All in all, this is not that much. So uh, as I say, that's actually usually what I lose in the shower in one day. So I don't know exactly what's going on. All I know is I'm gonna keep doing this. So this was week one. I'm gonna shove this back in its bag. And by the end of this, we can look through the weeks and see what happens. I mean, I'll be curious to see if I start having more hair loss. I guess we'll find out. Well, there you go, week one of four. Just stay tuned along this journey. Subscribe if you haven't done so all together and we will see where this gruesome experiment leads us by the end of the month. <laughs> Just stay tuned for all of that. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you um, next week where I continue to collect these hairs. See you soon.